Lauderdale Dean Trantalis spoke about today's problems a short time ago. CBS 4's Joan Murray is live in Fort Lauderdale with more on that. Joan. Well, the mayor wrapped up a news conference a short time ago. The police chief was also here. The mayor said at least two people were arrested. He could not say exactly where these people were from, but he did confirm that the outbreak of disruption that happened following the peaceful protest was not. Uh, organized by the people who had originally organized the protest. He said he did not know where they were from, but that this group was determined to cause a disruption. Let's take a li listen to what the mayor had to say. These demonstrators that came afterwards were agitators. They intended to come to our city. They came with concrete blocks. They came with uh, gas masks. They came with um, cartons of milk, which are usually used to, to uh, deter the effects of tear gas, they were ready for something. They knew something was going to happen. They knew it because they were going to create it. They were going to provoke it. The mayor also told me that this group was also responsible for some looting and also breaking up windows on Los Olas in the area where the restaurants and shops are located. Uh, let's take a look at some video that uh, we shot earlier, and you can see that at least three locations had the windows broken. Uh, one was a art gallery and I spoke with the manager of a restaurant next door. He described for me exactly what happened. The crowd came through. We decided to shut it down. We still had guests in and they started marching in and it's it's a different crowd. They're way more aggressive. They're they're really there's a lot of hate in their eyes and anger, and they just chucked a, a cone through the window next door. So we waited for it to pass, and I asked our guests to leave out the back door and be safe. Uh, we're closing down for the night. All the restaurant owners on the street are closing down for the night. Las Olas is closed for the night, guys. Don't come out. Avoid the crowd, okay? I personally believe that because I watched the news and I saw every city kind of start the same way, I really assumed at night as the temperature dropped, people would have the energy to get this way. When they were walking through, I had to give ice and water and help a girl who was having heat stroke. They just don't have energy to do it in the daytime. They would have been doing it in the daytime if it wasn't so hot. And now that it's nighttime, it's, it might escalate if they don't really keep it under control. So again, we saw at least at least three store windows broken. The mayor also said that a number of windows were broken at the county government center. That is near where these protests were taking place. Again, at least two people were arrested. The mayor could not say exactly uh, where these people are from. Also, the curfew remains in effect through tonight till 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, and that curfew will continue through Monday evening and Tuesday evening. Reporting live in Fort Lauderdale, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News Tonight. Joan, thank you for that. Next